Marvel anti-hero Venom slithers back to big screens with a new foe called Carnage. Miss you so much. We missed you too? Anyway, let's break down the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything else we know about Venom, let there be carnage. After the breakout success of 2018's Venom starring Tom Hardy as both Eddie Brock and the alien creature or symbiote who lives inside his body and brain giving him superpowers and a dangerously violent alter ego. Good evening, Venom. Marks and Hall, this is Jen. He says hi. Sony doubled down on the title, pushing up this sequel as the second film of its MCU-adjacent Sony Pictures universe of Marvel characters, or the SPU-MC. Ta-da! Catch up! Excuse me? Yummy. So clearly, Venom is still making a mess of Eddie's life. The San Francisco investigative journalist has also got himself entangled with an incarcerated killer named Cletus, played by Woody Harrelson, who just so happens to have an alien symbiote in his blood that turns him into Carnage, a villainous being who, true to his name, delights in destruction. Pre-Carnage Cletus is being held at Ravencroft Institute, an asylum for supervillains in the Marvel Comics universe, and the former site of a 15th century cannibal cult that worshipped the dark god Null. So the place definitely has a vibe. Ravencroft also houses Francis Barrison, aka Shriek, played by Naomi Harris, a sound-manipulating psychic who forms an unlikely bond with the titular Red Ripper. Shriek and Carnage form a faux family of other evil miscreants, playing mommy and daddy to the truly twisted trio of Doppelganger, Carrion, and Demogoblin. None of those baddies has been confirmed for this film, but Hardy's still got a third Venom movie in his contract, so expect to see a tease or two for the threequel. No! We had a deal. The film will likely be a universe builder and expander as it fleshes out the epic and beloved 14-part Maximum Carnage saga from the comics. Since Sony and Marvel Studios recently reached an agreement to allow Tom Holland's Spider-Man to cross over into the SPUMC films, there's a strong possibility that Sony will be able to be faithful to the comic book storyline of Venom teaming with Spidey to take down the Carnage family. What the Morbius the Living Vampire is also Team Spidey in Maximum Carnage, and it just so happens that he's getting a big screen standalone in early 2022, with Jared Leto as the conflicted bloodsucker. But that's all down the SPUMC road. For now, let's just bask in director Andy Serkis's touching portrayal of Breakfast for a Boy and His Alien Symbiote. Neither, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Beautiful. For more Marvel mayhem and trending tales, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.